the default information officer cannot outsource or delegate their accountability. So if there are going to be uh, legislative uh, sanctions imposed against someone in the organization, it would be on that default information officer. So what this really does is highlights the importance of making sure that when you are designating uh, responsibility, that you designate it to the right person or to the right people. That is absolutely vital. So who you delegate that or designate that responsibility to is not always an easy task. And there's a few reasons for that. Um, it might be a very difficult person to find. Um, because this is a lawful requirement, the role is in high demand, which typically means that the supply of people fulfilling those roles is going to be a little bit lower or people on the open market will be a little bit lower. It's a highly specialized role. Um, there's a lot of complexity in understanding the principles and requirements that are imposed by these two acts. Um, it's also multifaceted and multidisciplinary. So it means that the person playing this role is going to have to dip their toes into many buckets um, like commercial, legal, compliance, uh, information technology, information security as well. Uh, so essentially what this person might be referred to is the missing link between business, legal, and technology. Um, so on that note, it's probably not something that many people can fulfill because the spectrum of what they need to do and know is very broad. Um, and when they do uh, achieve that level, um, it might become that they are easily poachable, um, which is another pro problem. So it is something that you need to guard against. Mm -hmm.